Good morning, everyone. My name is Ivan Nakiao. I'm a political science and philosophy major, a rising sophomore, and right now I'm interning at Paul Weiss. And um, welcome to my Great Dane Day. Tune in for a lot of tips and uh, just an overview of what I do here. Paul Weiss is a law firm in Manhattan. They have offices around the world, and I work in the professional development and training department, which essentially gives uh, employees here, including the attorneys, uh, different resources for professional growth. I guess a good thing to keep in mind is that some internship programs can be competitive, so it's best to build up your resume first uh, and then apply for the more competitive ones later on. But that is not to say that you shouldn't try still. What's important to remember is that when you are interning, you're not only really there to do interning jobs. Uh, you're there to network and attend different professional growth opportunities to get the most of your time to ask questions, reach out to different employees, ask about their career, their practices, because you're really interning to find out if you're interested in that certain field and to sort of confirm if that is for you. For me, an example, I reached out to an associate and I figured out that I'm not interested in corporate law. Um, but I talked to someone else and I sort of figured out, oh, healthcare law is probably the career for me. Questions, one of them being, how did I find this internship? I found this internship through an alumnus and um, he referred me to someone in the HR department and then I just sent in my application, did the interview, and then sort of just went from there. That really shows the importance of networking and getting a resume and name out there. I personally didn't only reach out to one um, graduate of our university, I have reached out to a few and applied for a lot of uh, different internships through Handshake is to apply for as much as you can because you want to compare different offers, different programs, and make sure that you have a safety net on, in case you get rejected by a few of them. In about five minutes or so, I'm going to my lunch break and I just wanted to remind everyone that going for breaks uh, doing self-care during work is okay as long as you don't have any urgent tasks that you have to complete. Another tip is to learn the skill of sort of budgeting your time and learning how to determine how urgent a task is uh, because certain tasks you can sort of do it in a long-term process and certain tasks your boss might need it ASAP. Thank you for tagging along today. My username is going to be down there. If you have any questions, just reach out. If you want to take over the New Albany IG uh, like I did, just send a DM to this account and we'll get back to you with more info. Bye-bye.